Hi everyone, Sherry here again today with 2D Designs. Today I'm going to be making a circle shaker card and I am using the new dotted nesting circle dies and I'm also going to incorporate the winter house die. So the first thing that you're going to see me do, I'm using the two largest circles and I'm just using some painter's tape to tape those together so it will keep them in place. I took these over to my die cut machine and I cut out several um, frames, if you will. I also cut out a background piece and here I have a standard A2 card and I have positioned the die such that it was off the top so I didn't completely cut out the circle and now I'm going to take it over to my trimmer and I'm just going to trim a piece off the bottom and that kind of helps it stand up just a little bit better than um, had I left it a complete uh, curve on the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up that inner die on to the um, large circle that I cut out and I'm going to use the winter house die to try to determine where I'm going to do my partial die cutting. So I'm just taking a regular number two pencil and I am marking one side and then I'm going to use my grid mat and line up that mark on one of the lines and do the other side. The lines are going to help me to line up my cutting plate uh, or the edge of my cutting plate so that I don't uh, completely cut out that circle. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the winter house die. So I partial die cut this as well. Lining again, lining up my cutting plate at the pencil marks that I previously made. And then I am going to pop out the negative pieces around the house and the trees and then all those little inner pieces that um, represent the windows and doors and such. Then I'm going to start the process of gluing all of those frames together. I used a 110 pound Anina Solar White cardstock to cut out these frames. Uh, it's a little bit heavier cardstock and I um, I wanted that depth so I did glue some together off camera and here you're gonna see me um, put a few more together I'm just using some Nouveau adhesive to do this I also took that largest circle and cut out a piece of blue cardstock as well as um, some acetate I actually could not find my heavier acetate so I decided I would just use a clear envelope and it works just fine especially since a lot of this uh, die cut is going to be glued down to um, that acetate and will give it a little bit of stability. Again I'm using my Nouveau adhesive placing it on the uh, back side of my die cut and I'm just going to excuse me, I'm just going to put down the acetate and get that lined up. Make sure it is adhered well. And I did get a little glue seepage there, but I was able just to take my fingernail and lift that right off. Before I put the shaker card completely together, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. This is going to be kind of a winter thank you card. So I'm just using a stamp that simply says thanks. And I'm going to get that positioned onto uh, the front of my card. And then I have another frame that I had cut out of some glitter paper. Just wanted to try that out for size to make sure I didn't cover up the um, thanks sentiment. And I am simply going to use some intense black ink 
and stamped the sentiment. And I will have to stamp it a couple of times. This is the nice thing about having a stamp positioning tool. You can do this over and over till you get the clarity that you prefer. And give it one more shot. And hopefully the third time is the charm. Yep. Okay, so now we can remove from the misty, get off any stray bits of whatever's on the acetate. And we can start putting our card together now. So there's the little ring of um, a built up frame that I created. And I'm going to use the Nouveau Adhesive again to put the front onto these rings here. Just get those lined up and pressed in place. And then I'm going to add uh, the top frame, which is the one that I cut out of the glitter paper. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the top. So again, using the Nouveau Adhesive, I'm going to put just a thin line of glue around that frame and then place that on the top. I think that little bit of glitter just, it just brightened this uh, entire project up as well as the um, sequins that I'll be using. So here with the winter house die cut, there is like a snow bank beneath the house and the trees and that's just area that I really didn't need for the shaker mix to go because you can't see it anyway so I've used some foam tape that was doubled up and just kind of placed it in the area to keep the shaker mix from falling um, completely down in that area where you can't see it and then I'm going to use my uh, powder tool just to um, get rid of any static on the acetate as well as keep the um, shaker bits from sticking to the edge of the foam tape. All right, now that we have that all together, we can begin to add our shaker mix. And this is called Fairy Dust from Crafting Desert Divas. Very iridescent, has some little stars, cup sequins, um, just a variety of um, of iridescent goodness, if you will. A great shaker mix, especially for this particular card with these colors. I've poured them into their little well, and now I'm going to adhere the, um, the blue backing and shake it. And it's really fun. Really makes some good shaker noise and then we can just add our adhesive to the uh, card base itself and this is going to be my card for today thank you all so much for joining I hope you had a wonderful holiday don't forget to um, send out those thank you cards if you're a card maker and um, you enjoy sending out cards. Now's the perfect time to get all of those thank you cards made and get them sent out. All of the supplies that I've used are listed in the description below. And don't forget to pop on over to 2ddesigns.com and check out all of their wonderful dies. Thanks for joining and I will see you again soon. Bye now.